Hello viewers, welcome to the top 5 segment of JK News Point. This is your host Harshwardhan Singh and let us begin our segment with the first news. During a session held at the Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry of India, the health experts stressed the need for inclusion of vitamins and minerals in daily diet to build immunity for the battle against the COVID-19. The present pandemic has brought the focus back on the role of vitamins as part of nutrition going beyond popular proteins and carbohydrates, they said on Saturday. The experts swayed in that traditional Indian foods and natural herbs are a potent combination to avert threat from the deadly virus. Dr. Shikha Sharma, founder and managing director of Dr. Shikha's NutriHealth, said that there are several foods which are rich in natural minerals and nutrients, but we destroy their nutritional value in the course of our cooking and consumption practices. Wheat, which is in its original form, is dalia. It has important minerals like phosphorus. Still, in our strange wisdom, we powder it into a refined maida, which is nothing but starch and increases weight and risk of diabetes. Dr. Sharma named traditional food items and Ayurvedic herbs that can increase immunity level in the body. Barley, chana, sattu, pumpkin, sunflower, chia and flax seeds, among others that can be included in diets for a nutritional boost across all age groups. She added the ashwagandha and giloi are potent herbs that can be given to both seniors and children. They purify the blood, build the body's immunity, reduce stress and keep intact healthy pH level in the body. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh announced on Sunday that the Ministry of Defence will introduce import embargo on 101 items beyond given timeline to boost indigenization of defence production, while stating it as a big step towards Atmanirbhar Bharat in defence. In a series of tweets, he made some major announcements and said that Defence Ministry has prepared a list of 101 items for which there would be an embargo on the import beyond the timeline indicated against them. The Minister also said that the Defence Ministry has also bifurcated the capital procurement budget for 2020-21 between domestic and foreign capital procurement routes. He added that a separate budget head has been created with an outlaw of nearly 52,000 crore for domestic capital procurement in the current financial year. Union Minister Arjun Ram Meghwal, who had recently endorsed an indigenous papar brand, claiming that eating the papar will help fight the deadly coronavirus, on Saturday tested positive for COVID-19. Meghwal was admitted to the All India Institute of Medical Sciences at around 10 a.m. after he complained about difficulty in breathing. As per sources, his condition is said to be stable now. He is receiving treatment under Dr. Neeraj Nischal, who is a professor at the Department of Medicine at Ames. A video of Mr. Meghwal had gone viral in which he claimed that a papar brand has the capacity to develop antibodies against coronavirus in the body. Yes. एक आत्मनिर्भर भारत अभियान के तहत भाभी जी पापड़ नाम से एक पापड़ निर्माता ने एक ऐसा ब्रांड निकाला है जिससे कोरोना वायरस से लड़ने के लिए जो एंटीबॉडी डेवलप होने के लिए जो साधन है खाने के माध्यम से बॉडी में जाएंगे Indian cricketer Yuzvendra Chahal announced his engagement to Dhanashri Verma on Saturday. He Instagrammed the picture for his 3.5 million followers and wrote, We said yes along with our families. Hashtag Roka Ceremony. According to her, according to her Instagram profile, Dhanashri is a doctor, choreographer and a YouTuber. Many of Yuzvendra's Indian teammates congratulated the couple. The online justice for Sushant Singh Rajput campaign has now spread offline as well. The late actor's US-based sister, Shweta Singh Kirti, posted a picture of a billboard in California and wrote Bhai's billboard in California. It's up on 880 North, right after the great Mall Parkway exit. It's a worldwide, world, worldwide movement, she added. Rajput's ex-girlfriend, Akita, Ankita Lokhande, also shared a snapshot of his mother, who passed away in 2002. Believe you both are together. She captioned the picture. So that is all for today. See you until next time. Till then, have a good day.